It's a cookbook! It's a cookbook! Hey, it's Free Falcon here. Today we're going to be going over the food for early game in Pale World. So, once you get to the cooking pot, which happens fairly early, let's take a look. It looks like we get to the cooking pot. So you get your initial campfire at level two. You realize I'm cooking with fire, right? To the cooking pot. So this is still relatively early game. So let's take a look at the recipes and what's kind of the best to use for here. So made a spreadsheet of all of the early game stuff that you can craft from the cooking pot. There are some other items that you can get later on, but these are going to be the ones that are fairly easy to farm. So as you can see, cake is by far the most, but takes the most. And you're probably going to want to be using this for breeding. So this is your breeding thing that you're going to be crafting. So Bronco Berry Roast is really good. You get 252 nutrition and 3 sanity. But I think the all-star here is the grilled lamb ball. You get 147 nutrition and 18 sanity off of this. Little lamb, little lamb. No. And these are by far the easiest one to farm. Now if we're going to sort by sanity itself, you can see that a lot of these don't even give anything. But the grilled lamb ball is by far the most. So if you're going to be farming something with meat and cooking to be feeding to the pails, the grilled lamb ball takes the takes the, the ball part there. Now, looking at the stuff that doesn't have the sanity, you can see that a lot of these are going to be the raw components here. So most of the ones that you cook itself do have a sanity component. I think I missed a couple of these such as the omelet and such. But a lot of them aren't very high. So your berries come in at 16, which are pretty good. Uh, and they're pretty replenishable. Your tomatoes are pretty good at 15. Lettuce are pretty good. Mushrooms aren't farmable inside your base, so you have to run around and collect them. So it's probably not the optimal. Milk's not that great. Neither is honey, obviously. And then when you get to wheat, I mean, it's not good at all. I was hoping that the cotton candy would be a lot better. So I went and farmed a whole bunch of these guys early game and then realized that they're only five. Now the benefit of the cotton candy and honey is that they don't expire. So I have stockpiled a good amount of both of these just on the principle of throwing them in my bases that I don't have farms in. So I don't have to really worry about replenishing them over time. They just get ate up and then they they kind of perpetuate that cycle. Uh, bread itself isn't bad. It only takes one flour to get 27. But I typically need my flour to make my cake because I'm tip constantly doing that. Now, if you throw it in a, a milk with the flour, you get the pancakes, which is a big jump up. Making pancakes, making bacon pancakes. So if you're looking for the straight up easily farm stuff without going into the meat, the pancakes are pretty good. Uh, the jam filled um, is also a really good solution. So 51 nutrition for only two berries and one flour. So you are going to have to go into the flour for that. Now, lamb kebab, that's, that's something you're going to have to get uh, meat for. The mushrooms are farmable, so your omelets, your omelets aren't bad either. So if you're only getting a bunch of eggs and tomatoes, you can farm those out. And the fried eggs are not super bad and the hot milk's not super bad. But your real bread and butter will probably be coming from making the pancakes, throwing in the baked berries and baked mushrooms, and doing the bread is pretty good in general. So if you go over to just a cook fire, you can also make some of these. So so you can make your fried eggs and hot milk and all this stuff. So very early game, you're going to be focusing on picking up all your berries that you're collecting, the mushrooms, 
the bread's going to come a little later because you have to unlock the mill. Uh, if you get the chickpeas early, you can get these eggs rolling, and they're pretty good. So, if you saw where just the eggs themselves are 16, so they're equal to the berries. So, you can either have chickpeas or you can have a berry farm. The berry farms are a little more complicated, so you're having to have essentially two minimum, but possibly even three uh, pails farming these out. And they do take time, so the eggs are a little preferable, in my opinion, over the berries. Is you can just throw one chickpea in there and call it good. But this is a brief overview of the beginner cooking food and which path to go with that. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.